Some time has now passed since Jesus began to preach the kingdom of God. He goes on foot or on a donkey's back. He teaches in the synagogue and preaches the good news of the kingdom of God. Many believe in him and follow him. There are those who have followed him from Galilee, from Decapolis, and from beyond the Jordan. Jesus asks those who follow him, What are you seeking? Why are you following me? We want to listen to you, they respond. We want to spend at least a few days with you, because you say words of truth. They call him Rabbi, which means teacher. After the death of John the Baptist, some of his disciples decide to follow Jesus. Among these is Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. It was he who had told Simon Peter about Jesus. He'd said, we have found the Messiah, just like John had foretold. And he brought him immediately to Jesus. Another disciple by the name of Philip had told Nathanael, we have found him of whom Moses and the prophets have spoken. It is Jesus the son of Joseph of Nazareth. Everyone wanted to see Jesus, to listen to him, and to be blessed by him. and a lovely bride for your son. The hand of the Lord guided me. Thank you for coming. I've known your son and his wife since they were children. I wouldn't have missed their wedding for anything. What a lovely couple they make. your son Jesus up to? He's following God's path. So he's become a rabbi, a teacher. Jesus has come, just like he promised. He is not alone. 
With him are Simon Peter, Andrew and Philip. My son. Now everybody's here and the party is complete. Late, didn't you? <laughs> You're very observant. Do you take your knapsack everywhere with you? In my bag is a blanket for sleeping and a bowl for eating. Why don't you leave it at home? Because I travel from town to town. All the time? All the time. And what about them? Do they come with you too? Yes. They follow me wherever I go. Why? Bring me some more wine. They want some more wine, sir. Well, how much longer do I have to wait? Bring some wine. You told us there would be wine for everybody. Well, I, I don't really know how it could have happened, but, but there's none left. Well, you obviously didn't buy enough, did you? That's impossible. Well, these things can happen. But how can we celebrate without wine? Jesus, can you help them? Have one of those jugs brought over here. Master, those jugs contain water. Do as I say. Should take a drop to that guest. Can't you see he's thirsty? people serve their best wine at the beginning, and then when everyone has got a bit tipsy, they bring out their worst wine. But you've done the opposite. This is the best wine I've ever tasted. <laughs> Today is a happy day for everyone. I'm afraid for you, Jesus. You go so far away, always further away. I go where my father sends me. It's time to go.
Master, they have waited in front of your door since dawn. And what do they want from me? It is written, between Zabulon and Nephtali, on the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, there are a people who were in darkness who have seen a great light. And this, Master, is the land of Galilee. And these, Master, are the people awaiting the great light. Let them speak. Rabbi, please give the sight back to an innocent child who is blind from birth. wife and children to feed, but I'm unable to work. You can save me, because you're the one who was sent to save us. Who says this? Your look says this. Get up, man, and go back to your vineyard. The kingdom of God huh? is at hand. and I will follow you to your kingdom, wherever it may be. You will stay with your wife, in your house. All you have to do is change your life. Leave the kingdom of death and sin. Obey the law, and above all, love God and each other. Where do you want to go now, Master? To Nazareth, Philip. To Nazareth. It's time I went back there. Did you see who that was? Jesus the Nazarene. I know him. May God guide your way. What's your name, little one? My name's Ruth. And what's yours? Yours. And you? What's your name? I'm a Nazarene, and my name's Jesus. So am I. And so is she. 
It's time for us to get going. I'll be 12. What's that got to do with it? I'm older than you. It doesn't count. You're a girl. Hurry up. Let's go. Praise to our eternal and all-powerful God, who made a pact with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and will send us the Messiah. And he, the Messiah, will bring peace to Israel. I'll go first, because I'm the biggest. You always want to be right. Make some room for me. Be quiet. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in his temple in heaven. Praise him for his mighty achievements. Praise him for his greatness. Praise him with blasts of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timpani and dancing. Praise him with strings and flutes. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. All living things give praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Who among you will do the next reading? But you are a stranger to these parts. No, I'm no stranger, Rabbi. I'm the son of Joseph, the carpenter. Don't you remember me? Of course. But they told me that you were in Capernaum and that you had your own disciples. Go ahead, read. I will read the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Therefore he has blessed me with his anointing. He has sent me to give the glad tidings to the poor, to give freedom for prisoners, and sight for the blind, to free the oppressed, and preach a year of grace of the Lord. Is something wrong, Rabbi? Tell me, why have you stopped reading? Why? Today this prophecy of Isaiah is being fulfilled. Today, even as you listen, the Spirit of the Lord has been given to me. Therefore, he has anointed me to begin a time of mercy, a year of grace for our people. Blessed be the prophet. It's the son of Joseph. We were the first ones to talk to him. Be quiet. You be quiet. We were the first. How can he say those words? Isn't he the son of Joseph the carpenter? I know. A prophet is never accepted in his own country. There were many lepers in Israel at the time of the prophet Isaiah, but he only healed Naaman the Syrian. No one may ask the Almighty for a miracle if he does not have faith. Convert your hearts, and you yourselves will see your salvation. What if you're just arrogant, that's all. He's just another hot-headed rabbi who reads the scripture and thinks he's someone he isn't. Get out! Get out! Are they arguing? They don't believe what Jesus says. Why not? You don't understand. They're jealous because they all want to be God's prophets. <laughs> Let's listen to him again and then judge him. Are you claiming to be the Messiah? Yes, he is. That's blasphemy. What is the punishment for blasphemy in the synagogue? 
Let's throw him in the ravine! 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 Ah, he's gone away. Just as quick as he came. <laughs> and you wanted a miracle. Now you've had one. He's gone away. I know where to find him. Come on. Yes, let's go. that you're the Messiah. Let's go back to Capernaum. What about us? Go back to Nazareth and tell everyone that Jesus has blessed you. Jesus, the long-awaited Messiah. How is it that even before Christ's birth, mankind had already been waiting for centuries for the birth of a liberator, of a savior? How is it that all the Jews knew that he would be born of David's stock and that he would be a greater king than David himself? The Messiah, that is the anointed, God's inviolable representative, victorious and invincible. Because this had been announced by the prophets over the centuries. Who were the prophets? During the long history of the Jewish people, starting from the very old times of Abraham and Moses, some inspired men appear to announce God's will. So they addressed, admonished, guided the people and its priests and kings. These men were called prophets. It was also thanks to their guidance that the Jews, although living among polytheistic and heathen peoples, remained faithful to Yahweh, the one and only God, the absolute being, the spirit without a face. The word prophet derives from the Greek word prophetes. The corresponding Jewish word is nabi. A prophet is someone who foretells and announces what he has been told by the divinity. Thus, a prophet knows and manifests facts that are unknown to the rest of mankind. They were neither magicians nor fortune tellers, and they never practiced witchcraft. The names of the great prophets, whose memory is kept alive in the books of the Old Testament, the events of which they were the protagonists, what they announced, all this is narrated by the Bible, which mentions the prophets Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, known as the major prophets. They are followed by Elijah and 12 other minor prophets. But besides them, many people were inspired to prophesy, and they were not only men. The Bible recalls also women prophets such as Miriam, sister of Moses and Aaron, and Deborah, to whom the Israelites turned to receive justice. It was she who urged Barak to face the great warrior from Canaan, Sisera, and to defeat him at the foot of Mount Tabor. This episode is recalled by one of the most ancient and beautiful poetic texts of the Bible, the Song of Deborah. The most frequent forms of prophetic revelation are the word, the vision, the dream, and ecstasy. The word is directly inspired by God and also stimulated by the senses which hear and see what the others do not perceive. In every age and according to the necessities of his people, 
God has attracted prophets. Even in our time, there might be some prophets, men and women inspired by God, although they are not recognized and honored as in the past. 